Hi, um, so I haven't done a video journal for a couple of weeks um, and so here is my thoughts on um, New York. I'm actually not in New York anymore, I'm in Chicago. Um, I'm sitting in the uh, HI Hostel in Chicago, I arrived here yesterday um, from New York and I've spent the past about two and a half weeks straight in New York. Um, I'm really happy that I was able to spend about a month in and out um, of Manhattan, which uh, has been just, it's just been awesome. Like I just, I love the city. I love um, everything that Manhattan is. It is the absolute epitome of everything that a city is and it should be. And it's really, when you walk the streets and you walk through the parks and you go and get some food and you get some lunch and whether it's raining or whether it's sunny you can really see that Manhattan is a city built by people for people. Um, it's just so easy, the subway is so easy, um, there's shops, different shops on every corner, um, it's, it's just awesome. So um, the week that I've had uh, last week was a massive, massive week for me. Um, I I met some interesting uh, New Yorkers. I had a couple of friends that I was able to meet up with in New York. Um, it was my birthday on Tuesday um, of last week, so I was able to go out and celebrate that um, really in a really fun New York way and managed to make my way when I was really quite drunk um, from downtown back to uptown across two subway trains and a couple of subway stations through Times Square somehow I don't really know how I got there but I did um, and uh, then it was Halloween at the end of the week so um, I was able again to uh, meet up with my friend Cara and when we went to the Halloween parade which the footage is on is going to follow up um, after this video um, and we're able to see kids like trick-or-treating in the um, in the West Village and it was really nice to see how ki city kids did it and it was like the police had cordoned off a couple of streets in the West Village um, there were people who lived there specifically out they had um, candy for kids to be able to take um, and they really put effort in to do it really well so um, I felt really in New York when I was I was there at like 6.30 at night before the parade. Uh, everyone was, um, all the kids were dressed up and all the parents were there and it was really fun and just walking through like the subway stations and things like that um, on Halloween night seeing who was dressed up and who wasn't. We didn't, I didn't bother. Um, I am backpacking, I really don't have the money or the space for a costume, um, but it didn't really matter because um, there was probably about a third of people were dressed up and it seemed to be that if you were going to a party or you were going to be in the parade or something like that, then yeah, you got dressed up. Um, otherwise, everyone could just go out and enjoy it, so, um, so that was really good. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm sad to have left. Um, I love the city. I would live there in two seconds. Like I just, it is an expensive city. Um, my number one city in the world is still Paris, um, but it is followed very, very closely by New York. The only reason that New York is my number two is because I was able to afford Paris um, more easily. Like New York was more expensive than Paris. Um, so. Yeah, that's the only reason that New York is number two. Um, I did try to live as cheaply as I could in New York. Um, the hostel that I was in, the HI, um, on the Upper West Side that I'm going to do a review on, was a really good hostel. Um, it was huge, it was um, had a few hundred rooms and it was more, I guess, kind of like a hotel than a hostel. Um, the HI is a really good chain here in the US for hostels, that's where I'm staying uh, at the moment, in Chicago is another HI, um, but uh, that the rooms there were still 55 US dollars a night, which is a lot of money, it's a whole lot of money, and um, I had looked at um, 
uh, before I came to New York how to how to do New York as cheaply as possible and things like that. And then heaps of things that I read were like, don't stay in Manhattan, stay out, um, stay out in the other boroughs like Brooklyn or Queens or um, somewhere like that. But when I looked, it wasn't that much cheaper at all. Um, it, some places weren't cheaper, they were more expensive to stay in Brooklyn. Um, unless you wanted to try and get into some really dodgy, really sketchy, didn't have a very good review hostel. No, it's not cheaper to stay outside. You may as well stay in Manhattan. Um, because if you do stay outside, you then have to get on the subway um, for like an hour and um, come into Manhattan anyway. So you may as well stay in Manhattan and just walk everywhere and do everything really easily. So that's a, that's a really big truth that is not the case at all. Um, so I was lucky I was able to go out and explore um, kinds of the different areas of, of um, New York. I was able to go through Brooklyn, I was able to go out to Queens and I was able to go out to Long Island um, and just have a look and see what they were like. Um, and they were very much seem to be more suburbia compared to Manhattan. Um, but I love Manhattan. I, I yeah, I, I will come back. 100% I'll be back. Um, it's, yeah, I'm just, I just fit. I just fit there. Um, everyone walks, walks quickly like I do. And um, there's just, it's so busy and it has this frenzy that, it's just there in the city and it's um, Central Park is just this beautiful, beautiful um, escape from this crazy city that's around you. Um, but everyone is so nice and I found the New Yorkers to be so friendly and so nice and um, yeah, just, I, I just loved it. So now I'm in um, Chicago and uh, Chicago is exactly what I thought it was going to be like it's it's exactly the same as how it seems on TV um, it's quiet compared to Manhattan it's really quiet um, but it's a it's a nice city it's calm it's chilled out um, and yeah it's it's really nice so I'm here for a couple of days and then I'm gonna go over and, and um, see some friends that I met in Southeast Asia uh, in Calgary so uh, so that'll be good so the weather's getting colder um, I went out and watched the tightrope walker, walker last night who kept everyone on the streets waiting for two hours because it was supposed to start at six and then he didn't go on the tightrope until eight o'clock. Um, so it was freezing last night waiting for him to set this world record. Um, but that was that was also when I just showed up in the city and people were like, oh, you're going to watch the tightrope walking? I was like, what tightrope walking? I didn't know that was happening. Like, yeah, yeah, in a couple of hours just down the street. So, awesome. I'd love to watch a tightrope walker. Um, and he made it safely, of course he did, but I was still kind of waiting for a little bit of like a YouTube video for if he kind of wobbled or if he fall off or anything like that, you know, he just walked straight across. Um, but yeah, so that was, uh, that was good, so I'm a little bit tired at the moment, uh, daylight savings changed on the weekend and now I'm like, and Chicago's now different to New York, so I'm about two hours out. Oh, I'm just... It's so tired today. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still having a great time. Um, I can't believe I'm so close to the end. I've only got, I've only got like a month and a half or so to go. So I, I can't believe that I'm this far in, and it's, it's getting so close to the end. Um, I still have another three countries. I'm still going into Canada, and Mexico, and Dubai. Um, but yeah, it's uh, a, my life is still amazing every single day. The people I meet, the things I get to do. Just last night, I was talking to people out in the cold. Um, they lived in here in Chicago, and we were just chatting about what I'm doing and how I travel and where they said I should go in the city, and just keeping each other company really over over the time that we were standing waiting for this tightrope guy. Um, and it's just really nice. I just meet really wonderful people along the way um, and they, they all have an impact on me in some way. I remember them all. Um, that's the one thing that I don't forget is the people that I meet. I might sometimes forget the places that I've been or the food that I've eaten or 
every now and then a couple of things that I've done, but never the people that I meet. Um, they they always stay in my mind, and um, yeah, I feel so. I feel so grateful that I have my memories um, of these people, some of whom I'm lucky enough to see again um, and connect with again and come and stay with. And some of them are just random people that I that I see in the streets. So or I meet sitting at McDonald's the other day, chatting for half an hour with the people that were around me. And uh, yeah, I, I I do remember everyone. So. Um, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful for this amazing life that I have. Um, so anyway, these are these are some uh, videos, bits and pieces of the things that I did in New York. Okay, bye. Hotel Plaza, Hotel I found the ice skating. Oh, exciting! It's so sunny. It's warm. I'm wearing my thongs and my short sleeves. Um, ice skating, amazing, so good. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. I don't know if I'll be good at it, but there it is. Love you, New York. Love you, New York. We're at top of the rock. I'm here with my mum. I lost her. I don't know where she is. Um, this is it. There she is. State building side. Exciting. Exciting. This is my mum. Video journal. Video journal. We're at top of the rock. On top of the rock. Sunny, it's cold, uh, but we are squirrel stalking. Exciting. Have an extra glass of wine so that I'll fall asleep because the night before. So in New York, it's awesome. I love it here. I've been here now for this is my fourth week. Um, I absolutely love it, and I'm just walking through Central Park this morning. I've just found out that the New York City Marathon, as well as the set up, is happening on. Sunday, and apparently today is Thursday, so I don't know if that's why um, the sheep meadow here is closed at the moment, and it's it's weird seeing it with no people in there. I was planning on um, coming and sitting in here in um, the sunshine, lying down and relaxing and reading a book, but it's closed. So, I don't know if this says here, here it is, this is where we are, at the sheep meadow, um, but everything's locked up. So I'm not sure if that's because of a marathon thing, and they're not letting people into the meadow, or, um, or what's going on, so, but anyway, um, I love New York, I'm completely in love with New York, this is, the best city, it's the best city in the world. Love it. So, this is New York in the fall. It's so beautiful. This is it. I can't believe what I'm stumbling onto. I'm pretty sure I've just found an ice skating rink in the middle of Central Park. How did I not know about this, actually? So many things. I walk through this park almost every day for the past few weeks, and every day I find something new. And now, overlooking the city, which is amazingly beautiful, oh, the sun is shining. It's such a beautiful day. It's a beautiful, amazing sunny day. Yep, there is an ice skating rink. <laughs> Is there? 
Subway great behind us. All these people waiting for this crazy drunk people parade. The parade. We've been lining up now for about an hour and a half. 